Hi guys, so we're in Verbier today. These are the first people, I've just come out of the bar, obviously. So these are the first two people I met. He's got a beer. Americans? Yeah. Right. So your names? I'm Matthew. George. Matthew. And why are you here? We're like, what, the ski? To ski. Yeah, yeah I'm to ski. Spring. So spring break, why not Colorado? Aspen. Our buddy, like his that. parents are here, and so he has right. come down. Okay, so have you been to France or no. just Switzerland? I, just, I've just been, not on this trip, but yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. We're just going to be here for the week. And yeah. what's the ski like? Was it bad because the weather's Yesterday been... it was bad. Yeah. Yesterday it was tough. Just visibility was low, but the snow's amazing. Because I was in Lukavad yesterday, okay. and driving up there, I couldn't see the road. So skiing here would have been difficult, yeah? Yeah, definitely. it was, definitely. It was we, rough. We lasted yeah. about an hour and a half You were hitting yesterday. bumps, you were just were not seeing and finding yourself on cliffs. Well, are you but skiers or snowboarders? I ski, snowboarders. Ski, snowboarders. Well, that's yeah. good, actually. Yeah. So, because these guys are going to be American, Swiss people, maybe some English, French. Okay. So for skiing, is it good here? Is it difficult? Or for beginners, would it you is, say? Uh, I would say definitely, definitely difficult. difficult but yeah. um, I, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. But we, not. you know, somewhat know what we're doing. And I think we're having a great time, especially yeah. today. So, yeah. and is it difficult, difficult? Because I read somewhere in, in an English ski magazine that it's, it's quite advanced ski. Yeah, I would say, like, like in America, I'd say most of these runs are blacks. Um, yeah, like yeah. We, there's a lot more grooming in America. Like, right. Yeah, there's the a lot of moguls. Runs. A lot of moguls um, So you run into a lot of bumps here, but generally it's a it's a fun time. Okay, and yeah. have you met anyone that was really crap that got in your way? Uh, that yeah, might, this you guy, might be talking to us. Yeah, that might just be us. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. would actually be me as well. <laughs> yeah. So is it out of 10 from your experience, what would you give Verbier as a skiing experience? Skiing? Uh, I mean, we've only, we've only general... been here two days, but um, yesterday was pretty bad. Today was great. Yeah. Today I'd give it seven. Point six. Yeah. Seven point six. Um, yesterday got, probably like a three two. Yeah. I gotta go at least nine today. I mean, it was. I felt like it was amazing. It was today. good. A lot yeah. of powder and. I mean, the views are insane. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The views are great. So pretty. Well, what's what's this tough, is actually the start. I've not shown them the views yet. But, okay. Yeah. What's tough is you'll be going and you'll just find yourself on a cliff and <laughs> you're like, ah, it's tough after that. But, but are you guys, because I've got a mate in Geneva, okay. he's called Rob, he'll watch this. Sure. And he's from Colorado. Okay. And he always says to me that Switzerland is like the ultimate place for Americans to come in Europe. It's like the, the number one. Yeah, I would agree with that. Most people when you hear about from America at least, going over to Europe to ski, it's always Switzerland. Yeah? yeah? Well, I'm gonna tell you my opinion on here with these guys. I prefer Chamonix. Okay. And, and Port de Soleil because, I don't know, it just seems a bit, you know, in Cha have you been to Chamonix? No, no, no. no. I've only, first time in Switzerland. It just seems a bit more like normal, if that makes sense. In what way? It's like there's more, it's a summer area as well for climbing, so, sure. so you've got the, it's an all year like round well -rounded, town. Well-rounded, sure. It's, it's not just for a season. So it's more like a proper village. It's the oldest ski resort in France. I don't know cool. if we can speak to yeah, what we're, this place is we're like in the summer. Ski, yeah. Um, um, yeah, we set this trip up like two weeks ago and kind of yeah. came That's in cool, blind. Um, yeah. But it's, I think it's been really, really cool so far. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think the views are, I mean, look views at that. Views are great. Bloody hell, yeah. yeah. And have you, yeah, how long are you here for? Uh, a little over a week. Uh, you yeah, should I'm go here for to ten days. Lukabad as well. It's Where is that? Literally it's a four, different mountain? 40 minutes up the road. Okay. No, you go there for the spa. <laughs> okay, yeah, but, I like but that. But it's proper <laughs> chill. It's really nice. Yeah. We can use some of that. Go, go to Lukabad. I would, and Kron isn't far away either. Kron, okay. Montana. It's just literally like 45 minutes up there. Sure. Or Geneva for the day. Well, maybe. We, yeah. Maybe. I think this is definitely home base for now, and that's yeah. been the plan. But, yeah. um... You know, maybe Tomorrowland well, makes well, it on the schedule. What about beers and partying here? Is that fun? Yeah, Drink Heineken. I got a Peroni right now, but you want to be drinking Heineken. You, you like um, that? Love my Heinekens. <laughs> I actually um, miss uh, my Michelobes from America. <laughs> well, actually, they have a nice beer here, a Swiss one, Valaison. We're going to have to try that out. That's yeah, really yeah, nice. Okay. You'll get it in that co-op down there. Sure. And, uh, yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Yeah, of course. It was a pleasure. Uh, this was the first people I've spoken to and by the way it is bloody nice here yeah yeah so very very nice to be honest, this is definitely yeah. better yeah. than most places in the world. Uh, well I mean this is look, the royal family from England have a place here yeah really so, so I mean it's nice it's very nice yeah well, I'm gonna take which way should I take them that way that way or that way 
We have only been that we, way, and, and this we way. pretty much have just hit this strip. Well, I'm there. gonna. I think I'm gonna go that way because okay. I can see the view. Definitely. But yeah, yeah. cheers, guys. Have yeah. a good ski. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Verbier. We're in Verbier today, which is a lovely ski resort in Switzerland. We're in a car park and look at that view there. So I'm going to flip you around. We're going to have a spin in this car park. We're in a car park because it's actually the best place to get the view of some of the mountains, I find, if we're just going through the town. Hello there, welcome to Verbier. We are going to have a look around the ski resort today. I did do an interview quickly with some cool American guys. That's going to be in the video somewhere. But to start off, we're in a car park, bizarre but we've got a lovely view of the mountain, so I'm gonna show you these now. Have a spin round. We like to do a spin round on this channel. Right, so let's just start off. The tourist information is actually there by the parking. So the guys in the interview, I don't know if I'm putting that at the beginning of the video so you've already seen it or at the end. They said that it's good for beginners but it's also a difficult ski. I do know that the, uh, the some of the royal family in the UK, they have a place here. So it's, it's quite posh. It's obviously in Switzerland so it's going to be more expensive than the other ski resorts we've done. Although we did do Con, Con Montana. So yeah, basically it's not like Zermatt or Avoriaz because you can see the cars coming through. So this is kind of the start of the main street. The town comes up here and then you've got four roads going off it. We're just going to go down where I thought was the nicest part, so down through here. And we'll have a look at the mountain view as we go through. So another fun fact for you is James Blunt. He has a bar restaurant here. Um, Richard Branson, he comes skiing here. And this is actually an English bar. So the Alpenhorn. So this basically goes down to parking. I'm guessing the Americans went in here actually. You've got a supermarket down there, it's the co-op. You've also got rental hire, ski hire stuff here into sport. And we're just going to have a, a wander around, basically. That's what we do on the channel. Already, I feel like I prefer Chamonix. I've just had a quick beer, by the way, so... Uh, and I've, I'm on an empty stomach. But that, that is uh, the skiing way, no? So if you've been skiing here, let me know in the comments below where you prefer. I did do a bit of research, and I think that maybe Con might be better. For like a family experience and here might be more cool for I don't know maybe for more advanced skiers because I've got some facts on my phone as always we're in Canton Valley the main language seems to be French but everyone speaks English um, I'm just making sure I don't get run over although that would be a great for you YouTube viewers there does seem to be a bus here as well we're not far from Kron or Lukabad. Let's go through some prices. So for a day, for a ski pass for a day, it's 82 francs. For six days, it's 389 francs. I did see something about the So this place was actually built in 1866. It's older than I thought. And its longest run is eight kilometers. So yeah, I did read it's very advanced, but it's also good for beginners. I should really give you a spin round, shouldn't I? It's actually really nice. The chalets are really pretty. And yesterday there was a bit of a storm, so it was very difficult for skiing. And as the weather's not been so good, as you know. But yeah, they've got nice food here, nice local food. I would like to see some of the prices as well. But as you can see here, 
most things are written in English. Oh, they do have prices here. Right, so a Coca-Cola is five francs. A pint is 6.50. A coffee is 4.80. So a normal crepe with butter is 8.50. A croissant is 4.80. Milkshake is 11 francs, so it's expensive, but that's Switzerland. I don't really like the way the cars can come through here. I prefer a Vorias and uh, Zermatt for that. But I promised you guys we'd do a tour of the ski resorts. I've seen a lot of Italian number plates because we're not far from Italy. Now, I always find speaking to people in Switzerland with the camera quite difficult because they're very reserved. Nice shops here as well. So I think this would be good for shopping if you're into that. There's a lot of sales. A few f French people here. And yeah, you can see the ski lifts there. I don't really know how far we'll come up here before I turn around, but there's a nice view coming up for you guys. A nice view here. Look at these mountains. Look at these mountains. Wow. I just love Switzerland. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a nice time of the day to come as well. So basically, when you're at these kinds of places, they all look the same. If you watch the Con video, you'll know it's very similar to here. And this seems to be where there's a lot of bars. So you've got the King's Bar. Let me know if you've drank in any of these places. I'm not actually a big skier, but because I live near the area, it'd be silly for me to not come out and enjoy my time here. If you're coming from Geneva, it's not far at all. So Geneva would be the closest airport. It's basically a place to just come and get drunk by the looks of it, after a hard day skiing. One thing about the Swiss is, they're very organised with the pooper scoopers. With the pooper scoopers. <laughs> Could ask these guys some questions. Excuse me, do you speak English? Can I just ask you about the ski here? Do you think it's the best place in Switzerland, or where would you recommend somewhere else? I haven't been anywhere in more than here in, in Switzerland. Okay. But I've been to Chamonix, and I think it's pretty similar. So oh, that's interesting because we've filmed Chamonix already. Yeah. So where would you say is a better experience for like a beginner or an advanced skier or snowboarder? Chamonix or here? I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah? yeah. But the price wise, it's more expensive. Yeah, price wise. Yeah. yeah? And which, which one did you honestly prefer? Chamonix or here? I think I might go for Chamonix then. Yeah, I said the same thing. And, and what about you? I haven't been to Germany, I've been here. Yeah, okay. And where are you from? Sweden. Oh, you're Swedish. I've got family in Sweden, oh. actually. Yeah, near the, uh, in Stockholm, and yeah. then near the second biggest lake. What's that called again? Malheur. Yeah, so there, the summer house is near there. Okay. Yeah, and did you, did you find it's expensive compared to Sweden here? Yeah, out in the bars and uh, stuff, yeah. Yeah? And uh, the lift cart. It's more expensive. But Chamonix is not cheap either. No, it isn't. But I think it's more exp uh, more cheaper than like beers and stuff. It's more expensive here. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And just one more thing. So everyone tells me for advanced skiers, snowboarders, this is the best. Did you find going on those pieces that it was the good runs? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. But I, I don't think it's... I think you can find 
pretty similar things in Chamonix as well. Yeah, okay. And you, you, you can, I, that's a fact. I don't know if you know this, but Chamonix is also very good for the summer activities, climbing, it's, yeah. it's an all year round, but this seems to be more winter yeah, than it's dead. I think they have a lot yeah. of uh, mountain biking and stuff here as yeah. well. Oh, here? Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. Okay. You're good at that. Yeah, I, I'll give you one place I would go if you are here for a few days. Yeah. Go to Lukabad. Lukabad? Yeah, to the spas. Okay. That's a really cool thing to do for, a f well, an afternoon or a, a day. Yeah, and cool. it's only 45 minutes up the road. Yeah. yeah. But basically, what's up here? Nothing. Uh, the, the ski lifts the and ski lifts. some bars. Yeah, well, I'll have a look then. But yeah. cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye. Well, I ask you, where, where the, the, the travel with Will on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, cheers. It's always nice to have a chat with some people from... Uh, so it seems to be Chamonix. I said that, you know, it's... Uh, if you're comparing the two, I would definitely... You know, my love of Switzerland is so deep. I don't want to, I don't want to compare it. Although France and Switzerland do have an interesting relationship with the who has the highest points you can have a coffee. So Chamonix used to be the highest but now it's in Zermatt and it's 80 meters higher and Zermatt is really cool if I get the chance to go there I will show you so yeah he said this is basically another place to get pissed and go up the mountain and he's right so I'm gonna do a test to you loyal viewers now some of you are really cool and you watch to the end thank you so much guys for supporting the channel i really appreciate it it's i do this because i just like talking to strangers with a camera <laughs> it's that simple really um so yeah with this lovely view here so please like comment subscribe and also i'm thinking well i will be going to asia at towards the winter time here in europe where should i film what what would you like to see which parts of asia also in europe where would you like me to film and yeah, I think we'll basically walk to the end of this road and then cut it off there. But yeah, so for you loyal ones, there's a few of you who watch till the end. Wouldn't it be living the dream going around in that? Right, so basically we've reached the ski lifts. These places are very difficult to do a vlog, I find, because we know what's here. You come here to get drunk and to go skiing. But thank you for watching. There's a lot more ski resorts on the channel. I've done a playlist. It's in the description box below. And cheers, guys. I hope if you come here, you have a great time and have a few drinks as well in James Blunt's bar, whichever one it is. Well, you can do some research or I'll put it below as well. So cheers, bye.